took some big slave platforms. Colleen over. said, I'm going to shit on these walls, Mo. <laughs> I'm going to shit on these walls, right? Um, Colleen she, is on one today. She shit on... Okay, so we're doing the podcast. Oh, my God. She's going to knock something over. No, she's not. <laughs> this cat is acting on wild. Get a cat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Y'all see when I scratch the fuck up? She go. It's, it's like a little vampire. Well, also, I, I've been meaning to Clem, Clem to trim her claws for a bit, and so they're super long right now. You know what you could do? Release her back into the wild. <laughs> well, you know, so I have a balcony here, and at the beginning, I used to, because she, love, she loves concrete. She loves going out and rolling around on hot concrete. So I would open the thing, and she would go outside, and I'd leave the door open, and she'd let, just let her come in and out as she pleases. Bitch, one day, I went out there. She had crawled up the thing and was walking along that thin-ass the rail. Head? The end of the rail. Girl. I she fell, she wouldn't die. I'm only, one, I'm only two stories up. I heard Colleen was acting wild at Kennedy House. Was she? I heard she was acting wild. What did Kennedy say? Colleen was, like, starting fights. <laughs> Colleen was, like, scratching the walls. That's not true. And that's how that's how Colleen came back with a bruised up pussy. Yeah, and her nipple. And a bruised up nipple. I'm, I'm just saying, I sent Colleen to two lesbians, to, to, to two lesbians, and she came back with uh, a scratch her <laughs> yeah. pussy, a scratch her whole nipple. Well, I think that Colleen got into a fight with uh, Lady Edith, who was Kennedy's cat. I know. Yeah. I think I think Edith showed that bitch was up. Well, what it was, so Edith was like, "Sit down, young bitch." Cats like to show dominance, so. Edith is obviously the queen of that house, and I think Colleen recognizes that. But then here's what happens with cats: when one is like injured and one is like sickly, then Colleen is like, "Oh, this is my moment." She's like, "I'm gonna ascend the throne." So Colleen saw Edith was sick, and Colleen was like, "Oh, bitch, you sick? Ow! That is so horrible." <laughs> it's cats. You know when cats be like, <laughs> "Oh yes," <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so funny to me. It is very funny. You know, Colleen's wild. Um, we were talking last night about why. Who was asking me? Like, oh, someone was like, oh, Mitch is in town. Mittens. Mitch is in town. I was like, why don't you hang out with Assad more? And I was like, well, Assad has a demon cat, a demon twink yeah. as a cat. Chicken is wild. She's a demon cat. Yeah. Well, so what happened with Colleen too? We're just all sitting, we're getting ready to record this episode. And then um, I smelt that Colleen used her little, little box. I was like, oh, before we set up, I'm just, we all smelt it. Yeah. I was like, let me just clean it up really quick. <laughs> And bitch, I saw a big ass paw print in the in the poop. I was like, oh shit, she has shit on her paw. Go to find her. Her paw is covered in shit. <laughs> but it all this only happens when I'm home. So like, what if I wasn't home? There would just be shit on my couch, on my bed. It would be crazy. Maybe she's doing it for the attention. It's not for the attention. And we do have a video that we're going to post exclusively on our Patreon of Monet fighting Colleen. <laughs> trying to get the poop off of Colleen's paw. Oh, God. It's just so much. You don't want one of the cats. Did nobody force you to get no cat? <laughs> Did nobody force you it's to get no cat? It's only these moments. Where everything else is fabulous. And when she's fighting old ladies? Old ladies. Edith? <laughs> Edith is not a spring chicken like uh, Colleen. Edith is an old, you are an old lady. Act your age and not 12. You have gotten this far because your last name and you faked it for 50 years. Be gone, Casper. Disappear, ghost. So every time I go out of town, Cass, which is Bob's assistant, Kennedy's partner, love Cass. Just to be clear, Kennedy's my assistant and her girlfriend is Cass. That's what I said. Yeah, you said Cat, Cass is Kennedy's assistant's partner. And I think it might be easier for them here. My assistant is Kennedy. Her girlfriend is Cass. Cass. And Cass loves animals. So Cass watches Colleen. And I always feel bad, but she's always like, no, please. I love watching Colleen. So you saying that Kennedy saying that they have problems with Colleen does not I don't think Colleen was up in the house uh, acting like Bloods and Crips was fighting up in the bitch. <laughs> Colleen came in and rubbing her set. Also, you keep on saying Kylene. Colleen. Yes, but just now, please rewind. You said Kylene. Well, it's not, you know, I, I, I'm, am I getting you into the Kylie train? <laughs> <laughs> So I am recently obsessed with Kylie's album she put out last year. Minaj, Dis- not Jenner. Yeah. Rise and shine. <laughs> not that song. Oh yeah, oh, which is just stormy. Stormy. Rise, Rise and shine. shine. She should have. She didn't sing like that. <laughs> <laughs> if she would have released it as a track and like, you know, this thing about the about, bitch. This thing about the, about the, about the Kardashian that kind of drives me a little bit crazy. She could have released that one little second bitch. as a track. She could have like had charities for like. Made millions of dollars millions. for charity. Millions. Rise and shine. Yeah. It would have been everything. Oh, you know what? They, they take like little things like that and make it into a whole song. Like, do you, you know Johnny Sibley? Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Ow. Ow. Johnny Sibley has a song? Yes. Also, I think it's John Sibley. <clears throat> Johnny Sibley. Is it Johnny Sibley? I mean, that's what I call him. <laughs> Whether he wants it or not, that's what the go to his Go to his TikTok. Go to TikTok. 
Let me wait. Let's... Also, what kind of name is Sibley? Wait, what's the origin? Oh of my name? god! What's the origin is what I'm asking. You, 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 my you, thumbs you... are too big. <laughs> this bitch keep... It's two be... B's. I'm oh, now you're the Sibley expert. Sibley rivalry. You don't even follow him, do you? Oh, drag me. <laughs> Johnny Sibley. Um, rise and shine. Wait, what does he have? Let me go to his TikTok. But I don't have a TikTok app. Not when they dragging the podcast like this. Damn. You do have TikTok. You post on TikTok. But not on my iPad because my phone is... Wait, is this recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> um, Wait, just tell me what the song What's the song? Just tell me what the song is. <laughs> I I've heard the song. I've heard the song. But I didn't know it was John Sibley. But have you seen the, the viral video of him um, voguing in front of those people, the protest things? It was like a really big moment for him. I've I've not seen it. Oh, my God. Bob. You, you ruined everything. I'm this, ruining it. You're, you're, Bob, the one, you're the one holding the podcast uh, hostage. How many times have you had to research something? We all had to sit here while you thumb through and try to figure out technology. We've all been here. Never not once. <laughs> never not once. I found it since you're taking forever. Oh, hit it. We are really out here. He sure he did this. He did one of those things like you like turn, 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 turn. People did that to his sound. Oh, that's his voice saying hit it? Yeah, and then he did a song and then someone was like, oh my God, this is great. Do you mind if I make it into a song? He was like, sure, go for it, whatever. Bob, it is so good. Listen. Get it, 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 should we have John still be on the, on the podcast? It's so good. Wait, 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 wait till the beat drop. <laughs> it's so good. I like. I was like Johnny. I had no idea, and I at the gym. This sends me in. This song has seven hundred forty thousand plus. It's amazing. <laughs> she better get her life right. I have a quick question. It's not a topic today. Maybe for your future topic, but do you believe in eating the rich? Eating the rich? Yeah, you heard this. Eat the rich. Oh yeah, I I heard this that phrase. I'm not too. I'm not quite. I'm not completely sure what it means. I think it's a little bit of farce. I don't think anyone wants to actually engage in cannibalism, but I think the idea yeah. is like um, people like Jeff Take Bezos their money. and so and so cannot possibly reach that level of wealth without having disenfranchised someone. Oh, what is that? So, Eat the oh. Rich is commonly attributed to Jean Jacques, Jacques Rousseau, Jean Jacques Rousseau, a that renowned, was a good French accent. A renowned political philosopher and leading figure in the French Revolution. The original quote goes like this When the people have nothing more to eat, they will eat the rich. Word. So, basically, once we're in our resources, we go to Jeff Bezos' house and, and, take his. and chow down. Well, someone posted this, this, this statistic online the other day, and I was like, and I see what they were trying to do, but it didn't work. It was like, Jeff Bezos is worth one point whatever billion dollars, whatever his net worth is. I think is. 188 billion. 188 billion. And they were like, if he, so, and, and they were like, there are um, this many million people on the planet. So he could basically give everyone, it was like $100,000. I was like, no, if he did that, everyone would have like, Ten dollars, but the, the, I get what the person was trying to say. Like mm-hmm. Jeff Bezos has enough to give everyone ten thousand dollars, but that's simply not true. I mean, imagine being able to go into a room and give everyone to like just if you're right. a crowded club, you can just give everyone ten thousand. dollars He can never spend that money in his lifetime. So, do you believe in eating the rich? Yeah, I mean, I think there's nuance to it. And I, uh, yes, in short, yes. Long term, I feel there are many things we need to discuss in terms of just eating the rich. Are there ethical billionaires? Are they ethical billionaires? Yeah, I don't know. How about your homegirl? Riri? That's not Rihanna. You always point out the You said it was Rihanna. The I green said one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, we would, not, we would not eat Rihanna. I don't know, girl. I tweeted it out today. <laughs> it's not, the prognosis is not looking Why good. are you trying to come for my girl? I'm not coming. I, all I said, all I said, well, by the way, I don't, I believe that there are probably ethical ways to make money. I can't, to be honest, I can't actually fathom having a billion dollars. Right. Because it is just, it's a, that is a lot of money. Like oh, it, yeah. It's, it's an insane amount That's of money. crazy. Um, but that being said, whenever I think about um, people having money, there's probably some ethical way to make that amount of money or make money and a lot of money. I just cannot, I don't know what it's like to make over a yeah. billion dollars. Yeah, I think, I think, and I mean... There's so many, to get a billion dollars, there's so many avenues and gateways and pathways that it goes through to get to attain that amount of wealth. So I'm sure there is some part of the process that is not ethical. I tweeted out a picture of Sandra Bullock in Bird Box. And it said, the eat the rich gays, 
when um, Rihanna. Rihanna became a billionaire. And it has, people are quite divisive. Some folks are like, if she gives up the album, we'll eat her last. <laughs> so, Rihanna, she said she's not putting on an album. She's not putting on music. Although her and the guy she's dating, young, not Young Thug, one of the, she's dating ASAP Rocky, I think. And she posted a video, and it's her in the music video, they're filming it on a fucking um, skyscraper, not skyscraper, what's the thing? Fire escape in New York City. And I'm like, what's going on with me? It's like, I would die. I think she's going to feature. you probably feature, yeah. I think she did. I think the last thing she did was yeah. Lemon. No. What the fuck is Lemon? Uh, lemon by Nerd. Bad no. bitch, 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 she did something last when summer. Did, when did, when did, she did something last summer. She, if, she does, she does you don't know what Lemon... You are supposed to be around a I'm not even around a and I know that. I don't know what If not is. now, then when? And if not me, then who? Mm. Like, how do you not? It's like a huge song. It was. Um, Does it have more hits? More hits than hit it. I mean, I'm, I'm almost positive. <laughs> how you not know women? What? Get to Rihanna's part. What? what year did this come out? Uh, Does it say on Spotify? Apple Music tells you. It's Rihanna, nigga. It was 2015. No, she came out with something in last summer. I mean, maybe actually, I don't know. Don't listen to me. That that probably was not their actual time. I'm just saying shit. I don't know when it came out, but anyway, that's the whole point. But anyway, I, I started the discussion on, online, and maybe maybe once I've had time to do some more research, we'll actually have a a, a full. I think we should get a billionaire. I think we, we can get Jeff on this here. Like Jacob was asking to get a billionaire, and I think there's, a, I think we can get like a millionaire easily. Uh, or like a multi-millionaire, like someone with like hundreds of millions of dollars. Beyonce. But I think that get I think that billionaires are a lot more rare than we think. I think I think we can get Jeff on here. I mean, if he's not in this fucking space. I'm, My thing about Jeff Bezos is like he went to space in this rocket, but he like didn't quite make it to space. He was up for like 12 minutes. So he spent all that money, but it he was making a shittier version of technology that we already have. Yeah, well, that's because you know everyone. This theory that he's obsessed with phallic symbols. You just because the yeah, rocket looks like, like a, a dick. dick. Yeah. Do you feel like the Amazon logo looks like a dick? Everyone says it does. I don't see that. I mean, when you tell me, I'm like, sure. Yeah, once I'm point, I'm like, yeah, I can probably see that. But it's just weird that he spent all that money making something that wasn't as good as something that already exists. Because like, when you have money, you just do that shit. He's like, what? He's like, what is? What is it to me if I spend five hundred million dollars on this? Whatever. But the, the technology already it fully exists already. Right? He like, doesn't care because it's just throwing away something. How many times, like, if you think about it on like a small scale, have you something already exists, like maybe for ten dollars, but you you you'll spend twenty bucks to make your own because you're like, why not? I can do that. Well, I think that, and I think, like for example, designing clothes, right? Yeah. You there's like they had a big chunk of time even after you were Dragger, so you just felt like making your own clothes. Well, I mean, well, clothes, you could have. That was to save resources. Because I was like, I'm not buying like designer clothes or I'm not mm-hmm. buying clothes from designers, but like I want something. I don't want to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on it. I want to just spend a couple of dozen, maybe a hundred bucks and make it myself. Um, that's more of like a resources thing. And I feel like Jeff Bezos was doing this rocket to like advance science, but it was, but the technology was worse than. Like, if you made it to the moon in the fucking 70s, 60s, and you made it to the edge of space, Mary, what's good? I, mean, I don't know all the details about his expo- his thing, but no, I... No, you know. I don't. You're, in the billion- you're a billionaire. We know about your rich-ass billionaire family in St. Lucia. Everyone's already heard that episode. Okay, can I... Can, I want to show everyone the picture that we want to we want to hang up on the thing, and maybe we can blur it out. But, because I don't want everyone to think my home is bald-headed. I have a very nice picture here. There's no picture. There, there, there <laughs> is no, my name's lying. There, there is no picture. <laughs> I'm oh so mad at that fell on my rug. You and your little Nickelodeon. Are you allowed to talk about your little Nickelodeon that never, that never came to me? So, this picture... Oh, this picture hangs here. Oh, my God. This is... Not this flex. Oh! My back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I'm like stuck this way for a sec. Oh. Do you need help? No, I think I'm good. Whoa! Did you throw it back out? I don't know what just happened. That was weird. Let's see, trying to flex. Anyways, that was there, but Bob thinks that we'll get demonetized or something if we. It's have a picture it. of a, you already have a naked guy on your shirt. Let's try to reel in what we what we got you going look, on. Here. You can't see anything. I can see a little bit of sack. Do you know where this is from? The Eagle Tokyo. You know, I don't know that. All their shirts are wild. This may shock you, but I did not know that was me. Who is it? Not the special guest. Do you have a, do you, oh my God. Should we, should we have special guests and that be the thing? They, they could be cute. Should we unbox it? Well, what is it? Depends. 
I don't know. Why does that all together? If it's weird, we can just edit it out. But you need help. I can figure it out. I want you to throw your back out. These aren't very intuitive. They're not like a rip thing. Not a game within a game. <laughs> I'm going to make a game that is so. Well, is this stuff in the, in the picture, baby? All this shit on the camera? <laughs> Oh my god, this better be exciting. This shit is gonna be anti-climatic like this far. <laughs> also, the brow the address, Jay. Okay. Oh. My charge, I left it in Joshua Tree. Anyway. <laughs> um, no, but... Yeah, so I had that picture. Hang and Bob thinks that we're going to be demonetized if we keep it up. And I don't think so. Because Jacob brought up a very good point that it is a drawing. It's not a actual new person. It's a drawing of it. Then I, dare you, then I dare you right now to post a drawing of a dick on your Instagram. See what happens. It's not a dick, though. An ass. Post one. There are different rules. We're, we're, post we're, it. We're going to take a break. Post it right now. You, you post that now. Bitch, I, I believe it'll get taken down. I'm not about that life. <laughs> Let's take a break. Um, but how are you feeling today? You've been going for a very long time. <laughs> what is that from? It's just, um, I don't know, something online. It's like this video, and it's like, that, that it's like some song, then it, on TikTok it just goes, I'm horny. And people are just like, you love, love dick love. <laughs> You talked about Terrible Friday. You brought up a John Sibley's hit it, hit it. Because it was a viral video. It. Yeah, all mine are viral videos too. Literally not true. Why did you? The one I just mentioned is a huge viral video. The I'm horny is huge. That is massive work. I'm horny. What are we talking about today? Oh, we're talking about one of your favorite topics. Is pornography one of my favorite topics? I feel like it is. Why would you think it's one of my favorite I topics? I think you talk about porn a lot. That, that, that's not true. I feel like you do. Well, not specifically porn, but like sexy stuff. Okay, that's not porn. I mean, in the, in the I don't even talk about sex more than you do. I talk about sex as much as the next person. Oh, I, okay. I will say your talk of sex has gone down a little bit. But remember when, Bob, you, we talk about big dicks probably 18 times a, a, a minute in a conversation before. But well, now I that. I wasn't talking about myself. But <laughs> I think someone else is helping me steer those conversations. <laughs> don't you think? But I feel like in, in recent years, you definitely, I feel like your partners have settled you down a little bit. Well, so, I mean, I don't I think you're the one who's obsessed with big I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not obsessed with big dick. I'm not nor have I ever always a say a big queen. dick is pretty not functional. I do not want a big dick inside of me. I'm also not a size queen. So, so who's talking about the big dicks then? Who's this, uh, who's leading the conversation? You! I, You know, I just don't. I mean, we can go back and look at some uh, old. Not uh, podcast. This is before the podcast, baby. Oh, oh well, well, there's no evidence. Got it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Very, very convenient. One. Very convenient. What is the first porn you do, that you remember seeing? The first porn I remember seeing, I was in Ohio. How and old were you? I was probably in like second grade, first okay. grade, and I found a dirty magazine. It was like in the like in the ground. It was like covered in dirt and everything. You were just digging around as a kid. I, I used to play, used to play in the dirt and like hang out in the woods. And um, oh my like, god, were you really that kind of kid? I used to live in the woods, when I in Alabama. I know, but I guess I, yeah. Okay. And, and I used to um and I used to uh, dumpster dive a lot as a kid. We were really big into dumpster diving. Oh my God! The dangers of what are there? there are needles or knives or razor blades? I know. Or, no, we we get in the dumpster or get things. Most of the stuff we would get from around the dumpster. So we would go to this like we there was this area that we found that no one occupied. It was like in the woods, but it was like cleared out. So we would dumpster dive and get furniture and stuff, and then we'd make like a little clubhouse. And in our dumpster dive or near the dumpster or somewhere, we found some porn. Some one of the kids found some porn. Work. And how many kids was there? There were maybe like. I don't know, like maybe eight of us, maybe. Whoa! And uh, this is a summer in Ohio. Got it. That I spent. That was my first. Well, it wasn't for things. And it was. Uh, it was like just like some. I just remember the there was like ladies with really oily booties. <laughs> like, the booties were so shiny, like super, <laughs> super shiny asses. And the, I mean, it was like wet and dirty. I think it, it probably been rained on, like mud. It was like a yeah. dirty old. It was literally a dirty magazine. Work. Like literally a dirty magazine. The first. <laughs> Porn, I remember seeing, I don't know what my first one was. I know I saw it before my first memory of one. I don't remember what it was specifically. But one of the most vivid memories. Where was I, it, though? Do you remember where it was? 
it was someone in St. Lucia, like a friend, a family friend. Like, you know, we're all kids like playing around. Was it a magazine or a video? I think it was a video. Do kids or do not like do do people today like do do millennial? I mean, do Gen Zs even know? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, shitty ass cat. Do um <laughs> shitty kid, shitty kid. <laughs> do people do Gen Zs even have? Do you think there are Gen Zs who have literally never even seen a Dirty Magazine? Like you mean like a little specifically like a like magazine. a magazine? I don't think I I don't think I've I've seen them. I don't think I've ever held a Dirty Magazine. You've never held a Dirty Magazine? No. I mean, I was I used to see them in like the the porn stores. Jacob, have you City. ever held a Dirty Magazine? I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen them. Never touched one. You never held Dirty Magazine? I I have no, I'm not held one, but I have seen them. That's so wild. Is it? Yes, it is wild. Absolutely. That's so boring. Just looking at fucking One of my pictures. uncles had Dirty Magazines growing up. So, uh, uh, Uncle Scotty? I'm not about to name uncle. Oh. It feels inappropriate to Were they name. gay ones or a straight one? It just feels... <laughs> I, only have, I only have one gay uncle and you know that. Okay. But I mean, that's, I'm, like, I'm like, were you looking at straight porn or were you looking at gay porn? It was gay porn. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, we'll call him Uncle Sleeve. Uncle uh, Sleeve. <laughs> and he had like a, like some gay porn magazines. Um, and then I was find the ones in the woods. But there were like a lot of magazines. Like there were a few magazine, gay magazines in my life growing up. Wow. One of my first like vivid experiences with porn was when I was in seventh grade when I hooked up with the first time I ever hooked up with Ricardo or whatever. And I don't know how he got it, but I think I said it was on podcast. Ricardo before. has really made an impact on your life. Yeah, Ricardo was probably like, I feel like Ricardo, I think Ricardo was like one of my first loves. What is he up to? He still lives in Brooklyn. He's like, Can I just say it was very weird this picture did not pop off more than it did on, his, on Instagram? Like, this Whoa. is one of the best pictures of you ever. Thank you. This should have gotten like, 200,000 likes. <laughs> you ever post a picture like you'd be like, this is going to be the oh, one. Oh, girl, and yeah. Like, and then you post a picture of like your elbow. And they'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can you describe the picture for audio listeners? So for those of you uh, who are too poor to <laughs> eat the rich. Eat the rich. <laughs> <laughs> the rich. <laughs> it is a picture of Monet wearing a uh, yellow turtleneck sweater with a yellow background and a yellow wig. She has pearls on, um, like a pearl piece in her hair, pearl one pearl earring. Interesting. Is that an earring? That's a hair clip. Oh, a hair clip. Yeah. No earrings. I do have earrings on. Just can't see them. And she's wearing, uh, like, nails are also pearlescent. She's wearing the the, the smudgy circles that Moni's nose <laughs> over her eyes. And she has on some, uh, they're blue with some um, glitter. And she's looking slightly to her left. Um, it's a very, it is a very beautiful picture. Thank you, Bob. This is very sweet of you. You came uh, back from Hawaii and you're choosing peace. Oh my god! I think my most successful picture on Instagram is a picture of me out of drag, wearing that yellow dress, and I'm just standing there out of drag in this yellow dress, and it got like so many likes. Really? And I'm like, oh, y'all are weird. Like, y'all are so weird out here. Oh, it's very. And then strange. I recently posted a bunch of pictures of me and you and like Naomi and like people. Some summer moments. A yeah, summer it dump. Was, it was a photo dump. I actually was inspired by Naomi to do a photo dump, and it got. All these likes. It got like 150,000 likes. Oh my God, me too. I put something similar too. From Joshua Trace up, people really went up. And it's just me and you, and then me and Summer, and then Naomi Smalls wearing those, those chairs. <laughs> the shoes. Me and my niece, uh, me and my brother, Jacob standing on a fire hydrant. Oh, that's so cute. I I, I posed that one. I was like, stand on, were you on the, or did I actually stand on it? I stand on it. I stood on it. And then you took a photo. Jacob stood on it. Me and a coat Alfredo made me. Me and Kennedy. You look so cute. And then um, Ezra and um, some other performers at this event. And then me and a baby crib. Yeah, people love a dump moment. I was a this. I want to go to Joshua Tree. Did you do something here? Did you uh, do a little um, shoppy shoppy? No, a little shoppy shoppy. I really did not. A little liquefy. A liquefy what? A hint of liquid. Did you see the rolls? (laughs) A a little liquid in the waist. You hating? I mean, you look good. You, look? Really, you didn't do anything. I did not. It's also about I'm literally sitting like this, side camera. You know the angles, bitch. I don't. <laughs> you gotta, I do not. You got to tooch out and then do this. Oh, this is like eight, eight, like 18 pictures trying to get it right. Would you ever do porn? Also, I, you got some nerve sitting shirtless next to Naomi Small. I know. Couldn't be me. Oh, that's that's why my head is covering my boobs. <laughs> I'm literally sucking in and sticking out. Girl, we're crazy. Could never be me. Yeah. Would never be me. Will never be me. <laughs> uh, we have a friend back home named Wade. Wade, Wade, ah, uh, Wade is okay. I Wade is an Adonis. Wade is very beautiful, and uh, there's an old picture of Wade on the beach with a bunch of people. And Wade has like a really nice body, and Wade's like six five, 
And I was I remember being like, I would never take a picture. I would never. <laughs> Literally, unless I was in full drag or wearing a three-piece suit, <laughs> take a picture with Wade if he was shirtless. We're not. I'm not going to be in a speedo on the beach. The next taking way. a picture with you. Yeah. And Naomi and I went out to uh, Bianca's place in Palm Springs. Talk about let's take a picture. I said, talk about bitch. No, <laughs> I'm not taking a picture next to you. And you're in this money. Also, Naomi wears the sluttiest, the sl- I mean, Squinty. a sliver, a sliver <laughs> of a speedo. Did she wear the one with the chain on the side? So her entire so leg is out. Her, so her whole, like, huge know. package. Her little butt. Her little skinny body. It's her, insane. Her, like, her, her little... They always love the Adonis. Her, her little baked potato guns. Her little... Her and little then, muscles. But then we always want to take pictures. I'm like, Naomi, I took so many pictures of her because she just, she just literally standing there with like this crazy background. I need to take a picture of you. And she just looked, it's insane. And I would, I would not know. It's, she's beautiful. She, Talk she about let's take a picture. Perfect. Bitch, you trying to set me the fuck up. Oh, uh, I love her so much. You trying to set me the fuck up. So back to uh, so Ricardo. So at Ricardo's house and he had this, it was a, I think I said this before on the podcast. I think I said that. I, I just said that earlier in the podcast today, this episode. Um, it was a blue VHS tape. And on the front is White Boy Stomp and Green Neon Leather. <laughs> no one can find White Boy Stomp. It was a real movie. Everyone's looking for White Boy Stomp. No one can find it. Yeah. And then Justice for White Boy Stomp. Right? Was a white boy getting stomped? It was, I feel like it was a white boy either getting fucked by a bunch of black dudes or a twinky white boy being fucked by a fucked by a, a bunch of uh Big brother black dudes. No white dudes. Oh, white dudes. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. I feel like if I feel like if it's called White Boy Stomp, he's getting fucked by black guys. But yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah. Is it one of the things where you fuck you ever seen a point where they fuck with someone with on the, the back the of the head? Uh-huh. Which I don't even know how you the the dexterity. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I mean, Naomi with her long ass legs. <laughs> she takes it from the back, then over. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you fuck somebody from the back and put your foot on their head? It's wild. The dexterity, which I can't. But also I'm like. Would you ever do porn? No, I would. Have not you thought about? Have you have you had a moment of thought about, even if it was just a fleeting thought about an OnlyFans? Yeah, I have thought about OnlyFans, but it would not be like the busted OnlyFans. It would be very. There'd be, there'd be some busted OnlyFans. Oh, I would not do that. There no. are a couple of drag queens who have some. I mean, ain't nobody about to have a busted OnlyFans in a second. Oh, I know. That's great. Can you believe that? And Patty, Patty literally called this like in the pandemic. I remember. Cause, cause we, we were, I was like, what? Who's is it? Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne. I was like, what's the big deal about Bella Thorne having an OnlyFans? She can post whatever she wants in there. And Patty's like, um, actually, um, I can't do it. Uh, well, yeah, the guy, I can't do it. We have, to have Pat and Mateo do it. Yeah. But he was saying that like when people like Bella Thorne get on there and use it, but they don't, they're not posting any porn. Mm-hmm. And then people are doing these all these like, refunds, and it was making this whole thing. And then it's like, like I, sanitizing, I and it's sanitizing the whole thing, and then. Next thing you know, they're kicking all the fucking sex workers off of uh, OnlyFans. That's, which, I'm like, are they crazy? Like, that is why people go on OnlyFans, is to see dirty stuff. Why well, are they doing it? Because, like, for Also, example, sorry, I don't mean to call porn dirty. I, I read a whole thing about that the other day. It's not dirty. About sexy stuff. Slutty stuff. Slutty stuff. Um, the question is, like, was it... Because, you know, I think Xtube is also getting shut down. Xtube announced that there is no, Xtube no, no. a Pornhub. Xtube and Pornhub... No, what it is is that you have to be verified. You have to be like a like a verified content creator. So anyone Google who was, one of them said they were shutting down. Anyone any porn who didn't have like a blue check on Pornhub or XTube, all the videos were, were removed. So what happens is, I think so. A lot of that it has to do with um, people trying to down like make sure there's no child pornography and mm-hmm. no revenge porn because it's really hard to say did you get this because like if you're fucking your partner Never consensually camera. and they're like oh this is great but then you break up. They never said you could post it. Then it becomes revenge porn. So I'm saying it's really hard to find out. Mind Geek shuts down porn site XTube. Yeah, XTube is done. It's a wrap on XTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Why, though? I think it's because of having it being... It's like, I think it is getting... I don't know. Jake can look it up and tell us in a second. But I think it's getting too hard to uh, figure out what's child porn, what's revenge porn. I don't care if we are married for 50 years. We will never record our, se- our sex. Never. I have recorded myself having sex and then deleted it right after. Nope. I have on but what's, the pur- what's the purpose of that? Because I wanted to see it. No. Because I can't see myself going down on someone. No. But I've, I've like, I've like recorded this and then I was like, great, delete. But also, can I tell you what happened to me at, at work the other day? So we had to film something on our phones mm-hmm. and um, hand it over to the uh, the people that uh, were here. Mm-hmm. 
So oh. did you know that when you delete something on your phone, it doesn't really delete? Yeah, it's, you go, well, you have to empty out the delete library. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do that all the time. I did not know this. Bitch, I deleted all... I was like, I'm not going to... So, there, like, if you look on my phone, there is there is no dirty stuff on my phone. Except Where did you dick pics? So there's, there's one folder called Spank Bank that is on my phone. <laughs> Um, but I don't really even use it. There's only, there's only one picture of this bank bank, actually. And, um, but sometimes I'll like, we, if you see certain things, if someone sends you a dirty picture on, on WhatsApp, it, automa- it automatically downloads to your phone. You can change well, you the can status. change that, yeah. yeah. But I delete them off my phone, but not from the trash. Bitch, I plug this in. The amount of pornography. The in amount, front of everyone? No, just one person. The amount of pussies and dicks and asses that were showing up, and he was like, "I said I did." He goes, "I." He goes, and we were both like, "I know." We're just gonna power through this. We're just gonna get to this footage. We just re- why was he in your delete library? So what happened when I plugged it into this thing? It just showed everything. It just showed oh. trash can <laughs> sh- pictures I'm taking next week, <laughs> like the pictures I thought oh about. Oh my god, everything. that's crazy! It was showing stuff I saw on Reddit. Like literally, just stuff that I didn't download, just stuff, just like stuff porn I was looking at. See, on things Reddit. you don't do is give. I was, girl, do not plug my phone. Up I didn't give it to him. I would just. I, I thought that it was gone because when I plug it into my my computer, there's this little Android file transfer. You go to the folder, you send it over. It's a wrap, bitch. This was like showing all. Uh, I was like, this is wild, wild. And uh, w- w- the person was, was he the was like, like he, said, he said Bob, and I said I. D-, he goes, I know. He, <laughs> He was like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make that. And then I was like, uh, and then I was like, let me, then I just turned and I was like, let me just, and then we unplugged and we went our separate ways. And I was like, also, by the way, where do you look at your porn now? Because I've, I've, I've been on a journey of where I look at my porn throughout the years. Um, I it used to be back in the day. What did I, what did I start using? I don't know what I used. I mean, everyone used to download porn. I used to download porn on Napster, on Kazaa, on LimeWire. I used to download that. Remember having to download porn and yeah. wait like an hour to get like five minutes of fucking footage? Absolutely, absolutely. It's like, oh, bitch, this five minutes is going to last me for the next month. Hey, you're looking at the same porn for, same a, porn. for, a, half, for a whole season? <laughs> oh, this is my winter porn. <laughs> As I used to do that, and then I think it went to, I don't know what the first website I used to. Oh, it was, it was oh. No. It was one of those like weird ones back in the day. I don't know, like gay, gay, gayporn.com or shit like that. Like back in the so day. So one of my favorite places to get porn back then it was Vidster. Really? Vidster is a great place. Oh, you said my Vidster. My Vidster. Yeah. My Vidster was a great place to get porn, and then I kind of just fell off of my Vidster because Tumblr was Tumblr would had great porn. Everything. Tumblr had great. Tumblr would porn. categorize it. Uh huh. You could scan through. They were all like little pictures. You click the one you want. The video. Yeah, it was great. Tumblr, Tumblr was everything. Why did they do that? Tumblr but was great. I was telling you, because I, when I was working at Build, Verizon was the parent company of Tumblr. And they were like, she was like, it's great. We're still thriving. We're living. And I was like, really? I don't believe it. She's saying that shit. That's, that's like someone, one single tier shares. <laughs> Everything's great at Tumblr. <laughs> okay, Mary. I'm sure OnlyFans are like, we're just, we, OnlyFans is so fun now. I know, I know. Now that we're focusing on Instagram, but you have to pay for it. Wait, so where are you at now? So my Vidster, now so you're where? So after my Vidster, I was I was using Tumblr. And then um, then I was just going, and then I just went back. To, once Tumblr got shut, I just went back to like Pornhub and X2. Mm-hmm. But now, baby, 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 baby. Where are you going to put me on? Reddit. It's just Reddit. You said that I can't I'm navigate Reddit. You, it's too hard. It's not. Reddit is where you go for your porn. Reddit is smart. great. It has all the categories, everything in the place you want to see. Like, if you want to see one, and also, it's just constantly updating because people are constantly putting new things. And, of course, I was, was, still am until the time comes, using OnlyFans. I will say this. OnlyFans getting shut down. I want to save so much money. <laughs> because if you are even close to being hot, I mean, even in the neighborhood of hot, and you have an OnlyFans, and your OnlyFans costs less than $10, if it costs less than $5, I'm signing up. In me, if your if your OnlyFans is less than five dollars and you are even close to being kind of sort of hot, my curiosity is peaked. I su- I subscribe to a bunch of um uh OnlyFans, but not recently because also like through two months ago I had to like change my credit card and I didn't like update OnlyFans. I'm like this is so much work. I gotta find. I just, I just haven't been able to. Do it. So but I I've wanted to. Can you can I can I do some of yours? So <laughs> so actually, funny story. So I have an OnlyFans. Uh, 
like account, not like that I'm oh. that I post. I was like, I thought you were dropping a bomb. I was my <laughs> eyes were big. I was looking at Jacob. No. Jacob wasn't reacting. I was like, oh my God. No, I have an OnlyFans account that I yeah. that I watch uh -huh. OnlyFans on. And also I signed up through my Twitter, but when you sign up through Twitter, it it was it makes your profile picture, your name is your name. I was like, nope. So I had to go back in, change all that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like Bob the Drag Queen following you. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need, there was just one porn star one time or one porn actor one time who I, before OnlyFans, he had like a private website and I was like, I'll click. So I clicked on it. And then another drag race girl follows his porn site as well and they're friends. And then he like told her, told her and was like, Bob follows me too. And I was like, see. Who is it, Layla? It was not Layla. I'm, I, it, we, you'll believe it. Oh, oh, I have another story about her like, that just happened. I'm so mad. And she's like, well, this guy said that you follow him too. And I was like, why would he tell you that? Like, why? like not that I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's just not, that just seems weird to say. Yeah. So anyway, I changed all my stuff and I used my credit card. My credit card, I, I, have, I had really bad credit for a long time. So I had to build my credit. By, I had to get one of those prepaid credit cards. So it only has a $1,500 limit on it. And girl, I think I tried to follow someone and was like, you have exceeded your limit. Word. I spent over $1,500 on OnlyFans. Isn't that crazy? Do you not uh, cancel them after you see what you wanted to see? Oh, immediately. So I how you... A light follow. <laughs> Molly, I follow a lot of people. I'm telling you, if you look even halfway kind of sort of cute, if you're, if, especially if it's less than $5, I am instantly signing up. That is about $1,500, though? Girl. <laughs> like how many folks do you follow OnlyFans? Maybe three. Three? Yeah. No. 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 I follow. And Maybe I, I haven't ever followed. I, I don't think you. it tells you how many people you follow. Can I open it on here though? I can tell you. OnlyFans about to really shoot themselves in the foot with this bullshit they pulling too. By the way. Yeah. I saw my phone. But they gonna be over there like it's all working out great. We love it. Everything's we're thriving, honey. I guess I'm only following. I'm only following thirty two people now. Oh my god, that's still a lot though. I have three fans. That means that people who like what you are following, maybe. Anyway. Um, Do they know it's, it's not your name? That's not my name, no. It's not my right. name at all. But isn't that wild, though? Yeah, that's crazy. And I, would, I, I was like, ooh, girl, I'm going to save a lot of money by not being on OnlyFans. Finally. Well, you know, someone, I don't know who it was recently, but they gave me a really good idea. And you probably, I think they listened to the podcast. And I'm like, bitch, it was me. Oh, Florence Zalee. So I posted something on my Instagram story. And she was like, girl, your mouth is fierce. She was, like, she was like, those lips. I was like, thank you, thank you. She was like, she's like, bitch, you need to come out with a flashlight. And I was like, a flashlight of my mouth? That's kind of fierce. Well, you got one customer. <laughs> you want to sleep with a wreck your shit? I was like, oh my God, would you? Is it going to be awkward at the next fitting? <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't mean it like when that. When you see her, your mouth, <laughs> when you put all the course in, your mouth's looking at you like, <laughs> would you would you ever put out a sex like no. a sex product? Why, no, Monet? Of really, your mouth? No, no. Why? I have, I have a really hard time sexualizing myself and monetizing it myself personally. Like I I'm, I I can be sexual like in in a one on one context, but like public. Like being like, I'm a sexy sex sex. <laughs> and like, not the baby talk. Like posting, like when you and your little nudes, you and Pep be posting nudes and shit. I could never, couldn't be me. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have the confidence. Or but the, the flesh, like you're not going to offer your mouth to everyone. You're but I have making to like, a mold of like, your lips. I know, but and they sell it. But I'm sexualizing and monetizing my sex, which I, I don't think I have. Oh, yeah, there's a post like, hey y'all, there's a, there's a restock in the flesh lights. Make sure I get them for Labor Day. We're doing a little Labor Day sale on the flesh light mouth. <laughs> I couldn't do that. That's too much. That's too much. It's too much. Oh my god. Okay, so what if I do it? Would you help me with the marketing? I'm very great. I'm very great with other people being sexual and, and helping with their sexuality and promoting that. We just had um Brian on the on the um podcast. Brian. Brian, the guy who um I hooked up with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Friends, yeah, yeah. Me. And also, by the way, he got like a hundred OnlyFans subscribers from being on a Patreon exclusive. That's fierce. Isn't that wild? That's good. Should we get some more uh, OnlyFans people? I would. I. I Dude, should a, we start a thing where we review OnlyFans? 
I have a lot. I mean, we can't. We, we, we have another two weeks. Oh. Well, we well, move to just for fans. I, see, I'm not jumping. I'm not doing extra. Bitch, you, Bob. First of all, you spent fifteen hundred dollars on OnlyFans because you wanted to see some people's things. But with just for fans, you're like, all right, guys, I can't. Bitch, when it you comes, will, but that's when it comes to like new passwords and like you. But I, try, I, I feel like you will muster the strength and get it done. You know, I don't. I honestly don't think I will. Like, I just feel like hopping over to Only OnlyFans was like was like a moment in time. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. great. It was fierce. But now that they're like moving to new platforms and like everyone's like, now let's all go over here. I'm like, I'll, I'll catch y'all on the next one. I, I it's, it's too much. Okay, we'll see. Oh, um, Jay, Land, whoever, edit. Hold on to this piece of foot. Just hold this. Hold on to this because I will. <laughs> be, be I'm not. I'm not above job. going to pay for. Uh, I, I believe in paying for porn, but it's just it feels exhausting to have to like. It feels really exhausting to learn a new website, and you know how I like. I know, I know how it's you are. Much, it's too much. <laughs> if they can find a way to fucking, if they just make a dirty version of Instagram, Instagram Plus, I'll download that shit. <laughs> Instagram, get on that, honey. <laughs> oh my god, I'm surprised Instagram hasn't made their own OnlyFans moment because you, because you know they love when fucking uh, TikTok started popping off. They're like, oh, we need to Insta get- fans. <laughs> they started doing reels. Yeah. You know, they they normally try to keep up. So I'm surprised they haven't done that. Well, I mean, they, they weren't even doing videos until Vine. Right. There were no y'all remember when Instagram was literally just pictures. Just yeah. solamente. Could you even send like, DMs back? I don't even remember if you can send DMs. I feel like DMs came later. Yeah, you even yeah, you did you had to just what was your, your first picture? Instagram? Can you go to your very first Instagram post? I do remember my first Instagram picture. So it, I'm almost positive my first it's gonna take a while. I have uh, a we, lot of Instagram. We can do posts. this in the I can I can look at me multitasking. Look at me. How many how many how many pictures do you have on Instagram? I have, I have a thousand five I have, have one thousand fifty three. I have way more than you. I post I have one thousand two hundred and fifty. I mean, I think my first one was like a picture of like a butterfly or like a um a cup. Or wait, like, wait, wait. Before we get, should we bet? Like, and actually make this real. If we, if, if we can accurately. Okay, remember. it was either these two girls I used to work with at the real estate agency, mm-hmm. or it was a picture of a butterfly, or like a some sort of a bug. Um, and it was like okay, a, that's one it, or the other. You and can't. it was like a black and white filter. Oh my god, not use. Oh my god, filters used to be so popular. Oh, the all the rave filters. But I, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 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 it was the cup. It's like a cup and like a bug. On my window, it's a windowsill, and there's something in the windowsill. Mine is a selfie of no. Mine is either my green pants and my shoes, or a selfie of me. And there's also these two girls who I used to work with. I took a picture because they, they look like Tracy Toms and Kesha. Who the fuck is Tracy Toms? Tracy. Wow. Oh, and also, I I, post, I recently posted a trick a picture of Tricks on her birthday, and um, someone said, "Not Tracy Turn Black." <laughs> <laughs> The me doing tricks here. <laughs> and I fucking lost it. Okay, I have apparently um um What? I have archived. I was archived. Did you you're the archive girl? Well, my old archives were like wild, Mary. Like I have to now have to get now I have to scan through my archives. I'm really about to be here for a second. But we'll 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 keep um Well I don't wanna No, I I, I can I can uh, to quote my friend, we can multitask. Also, if people watch this, this probably looks like we are like trying to like suppress our ticks or something, trying to like Oh, because our hands are out of the front. Are, are being busy. But no, I mean, but that's why I watch. I, so now I'm I'm really on Reddit. These days, it's all about the Reddit. Reddit porn. And honestly, I'm really into like DMs and like someone that's sending true. me their own this stuff. This guy sent me something great in my DMs the other day. I was like, Whew. I bet you want to show me. I will show you. Well, let's. I'll tell you after the break. Is it someone we know? No. So it's a fan. I think he's in Germany or in Paris, whatever. He sent me a message. Comes to Deutsch. You know when they send you the messages that the message of that they want to send you a new like you know you know like when they're like hey, I don't know I I can tell when they want me to send them. I don't entertain <laughs> I the haze. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be this picture. It's not. Oh, that is so early Instagram. That is so. That is so early Instagram. Oh my god! So early. Screen grab that we can put on the screen too. They can like see like a high quality version. Of this it. is this was in August 14, thousand thirteen. I had thirty seven likes. <laughs> it's the early Instagram of it for me. Oh my god, Monet! These pictures are so. Oh my god! Not these early ass Instagram pictures. Oh my god, saliva. Damn. Not that crunchy, but nice to know. Not that crunchy, but nice to know. 
Not me when I used to have a little bit of a body. But I also love um, getting people to, like, if someone's going to send me, like, the dirty pictures, of, those, I, 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 it's something about, like, knowing the person and knowing where it came from and, like, building up to the nude as opposed to going to porn and you're, like, starting with, there it is. It Okay, I was, I found my first you picture. Missed a bunch of, you mixed a bunch of things together. So the first one was actually the picture of um, those two girls I used to work with. Oh, word. And they really do look like, Kesha and Tracy Toms. Yeah, I see Tracy that. Tracy Toms is uh, the lady from, she's in Rent. Yeah, I know. And then up in was my windowsill. The windowsill. Not Sam, Bob, you, ew, this is, this is very early Instagram. <laughs> this is very, the Sam Pellegrino, a glass and a candle? I don't even know. I was, like, I was thinking, it was something on my windowsill. Who do you think, who do you think who has more likes on their first picture, you or me? I haven't um, looked at mine yet. How many do you have? My first picture, I think I have more. How many do you have? Based on the fact that you, that other one, which is a few scrolls back at 23, I, my first one has uh, 60 likes. 60? Okay, this is my first picture. It's with, oh, my God, it's my graduation. Oh, well, that's not fair. With me, uh, I, don't, I don't remember. Me and Arcia, 205 likes. Drag me. <laughs> How many comments? 31. All right, so, Jake, Jake I'm going to post. So we can, we can um, show the, the fans these. Uh, that's really cool that your thing does that. I'm going to say the one thing I like about the Android. That's fierce. Well, actually, I mean, there's a, there's a couple of things I can show you that's really great about this phone, but... um. Can I show you my favorite thing about Android? This is really gonna gag you. This is this is where this is where most Android most iPhone. Oh most my god, have here the we go. Are you ready for this? Lean in. Oh, for the selfies. Only I only one person has to do it. I'm not trying to stop it. And then also with this, oh I can god. also take a picture with this. Okay. Can you? Can you? Can you? I have to, figure, you? I have to figure it out. <laughs> it normally works. It does the thing. Anyway. Anyway, so, um, okay. Who's your favorite porn star? Ooh, in this moment. Oh, is a guy named Caldo Garan. Caldo Garan? Mm hmm. What's so great about Caldo Garan? Can I look up Caldo Garan? Probably on Twitter. Cold, what's so great about Caldo Garan? Only because he followed me recently. Oh, okay, listening. someone someone liked one of his porns on Twitter, and I was scrolling through, and then this guy. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. No, <laughs> wait. <laughs> that was so rude. That was not. I did. I did. I really. Y'all, did you find him? I didn't even find him. I want to be clear. I really did not mean for that to come out. Like yes, that. you did mean I for that to come not, out. I did not mean for that to come out like that. That came out. That came. That is not how I expected it to come out. It ended up sounding way worse <laughs> out loud. Than oh it my did god. He, that, that sounded so rude. Caldwell, you're very beautiful. You have a lot of great things going for you. <laughs> you have 165,000 followers. You don't need me. <laughs> how? Did, I think he blocked me then. Oh, did he block you? No. Coldo. Why did he block? What did you do? What did you Were we all DMing? No, we didn't DM at all. I can't. He doesn't come up for me. That's so shady. Oh, my God. He said he followed you? No, I, he did not follow me. Wait. I need to... Bob. Okay. Oh, there he goes. He didn't follow me. I, he, I was going to send you a link to the sibling jerkery hashtag. Oh, oh sibling so jerkery. jerkery. He follows. He follows Lady Gaga. He follows uh, Trixie. Someone liked one of his pictures, or someone that I follow liked it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I commented, and he said something back. So it should be my replies. Well, but the reason why I am shocked that this is your favorite porn star because he doesn't. He doesn't seem like what you would normally be. He's not very beefy. The picture I saw was just really sexy. He's not very tall. How do you know he's not tall? You don't know that because he's because he, unless everyone he filmed with is also just incredibly tall. Um. This just doesn't seem like someone you'd be into. That's what that's what that's what was shocking me, Mr. Grant. <laughs> Sibling jerkery. This is a tweet by Chase. Uh, a super cute, not all, not at all stage and soft ending to the always quiet, never yelling podcast. You know, but there, and not, very few of them are actually using the hashtag. Like very few of the people well, were actually jerking off to the sibling jerkery hashtag. And if you don't remember, a while back when they made a joke, if you're jerking off during the podcast, please use the hashtag slipping jerkery. Oh, for some reason, when you look at on your phones, they don't. Maybe you need to look at it on a computer. Because there are a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, not someone uh, using oh. the Pixar filter. Pixar filter. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, Rivalry Listener, they made a profile just for this. Uh, they are 
they're using the Pixar filter on um, their face. It's, it's a little hot because they're using that Pixar filter. It's kind of cool. And they're jerking off while listening to our podcast. Oh. And he's hot. He's a nice dick. What episode is this? He is busting a nut right over my face. Wait, what? Like, should we um, <laughs> should we rate them? I'm liking. I just liked it. I'm gonna be like, you get a nine out of ten. Work. Okay. Who? Who? I did not realize there were all these up in here. I didn't. Jacob. Jacob been holding out. It's the creativity of the uh, the <laughs> Pixar filter for me. <laughs> um, this one. Oh, this is from. Ooh, um, yes. The overview. T nine seven seven six two four two one. That is their name. And this person is also. This is a great angle, great view. No face in this one. The yeah, no face. face. But also, can wait. Is he listening? Can we put the sound on? I mean, it feels graphic. Oh no! I think he's just doing that. Yeah, it's just. I mean, oh, he wasn't even listening. Okay. This is. Oh, he's done a lot. He's done quite a few. He's really going off. Oh, that's the same person. Can't could you tame it? Sibling jerkery. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't realize how many the mega farter. Okay. I was gonna go to like I'm all not these. king shaming. I, I I'm really okay. I don't want to king shame. <laughs> I was gonna go to like all of these. I was like, did my people who follow me is gonna be just dicks everywhere? Oh, I when, can't you, do that. when you like stuff, everyone like, sees it. See what you're liking. I know. I think like, maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh my god, who is that? Who? This is Echo Xavier with three X's. This is a really great Xavier. This is a really great photo. You've oh, and he's wearing house my suit. god! And this person is also wearing house suit, which Echo is really Xavier. nice. Hold on, I'm gonna like that one too. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I'm a grown ass man. This is someone a very little hole play. We got someone playing with their hole here. This is Jay Witch Omen. Echo Xavier is fucking. Look at his look at his OnlyFans. <laughs> this man is fucking beautiful. Yeah. If my um, if my um. Thing wasn't maxed out. I would I would subscribe to your OnlyFans. Wow. Very few people are actually listening to the podcast now. <laughs> Echo Xavier is fucking goals. You know that people are gonna are start searching this 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 uh, hashtag again. Sibling jerkery. The, the jerkery is real. Yeah, that guy with the numbers and letters is really um <clears throat> having a field day. Photos. And mostly people people are just looking. I'm waiting. <sighs> um, lots of um, people like trying to see what's going on. But there is stuff there. You can always update the hashtag. <laughs> we'll, we'll be here waiting for y'all to update, update the hashtag at, at any moment now. Um, do you watch Ray Warren? Um, sometimes it'll pop up because the guy looks like really hot. And I'm like, ooh, that's hot. But... That's the extent of it. Like, seldom. Once every... One, if I... Let's say I jerked off 10 times, maybe once and a half out of that is sorry, straight porn. I watch some straight porn sometimes. Um, I would say maybe a third of the porn I watch is straight porn sometimes. Work. Yeah. Um, and the other two thirds is usually... Uh, Pussies and dicks, oh my. Some sort of queer porn. Queer porn. For sure. Um... What do you, like okay, so when you when it's time to bust, uh-huh. what do you type? Oh, what do I search? Uh, I don't know. Uh, my but my main ones are probably just a like big ass dick fucking a hole. Do you watch porn on your phone on your iPad? People who watch on their TVs, that's this, too much. This is chaos magic. This is, <laughs> This imagine, is like madness. Imagine watching porn on, on a big ass TV. That is too much. I, I once watched it on our projector back home in L, in, uh, in New York. And I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> so I don't know. We don't have we don't have the projector anymore. But we had this mass. I mean, it was huge. Wait, did you get rid of the projector? It's in storage. Okay. So we still have it, but it's not set up. So I, it was it's, just, it's like a movie theater. It's like a massive thing. And I remember watching porn on it once I was casting from my iPad. And I was like, this is wild. Also, Bobby. Bob's apartment was on the street. You can break window, the, the windows were up. You can basically see the Bob's apartment. Imagine just walking by Bob the Dragon's apartment. Just a big ass porn is on the fucking. Well, window. I had curtains. Yeah, but I bet I used to go to your house and look, literally peek in and watch y'all sometimes. <laughs> what? 
in the creepy shit. <laughs> um, but I watch it. I, I, I watch most of my porn on my phone. Even the computer is it's too, too small. The computers, there's too much going on. To computers, I, I I was recently watching the porn on my computer, and I was like, it's fine, but it's just it, it seems like a lot. Do you, do you ever feel dirty after porn? Watching mm-hmm. porn? No. I don't feel dirty, but like little me, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I just did that sometimes. You know what I mean? No. I feel like that sometimes for sure. I do not have experience. I'm usually like, that was fun. I'm time to go to bed. <laughs> I mean, I usually watch porn at night. I usually watch porn like in the evening when it's mm-hmm. time to go to sleep. Like rarely am I watching porn like during No, the sometimes day. you need to start your day. Do it in the morning, get it done in the morning, and you can just like go through the rest of your day. For me. No, well, it also depends. I mean, I, I I watch porn more when I'm alone. Like, if I'm with my normal partners, I probably won't watch porn. Right. Like, I sometimes if Jacob falls asleep and then I'm awake, I'll be on the, over on the side and I like watch the porn. But I don't like masturbate or anything because I'm like in bed. I don't want to wake someone up. Yeah, I guess. So like, Can you imagine you just Jacob sleep? And then you probably and I, it's, it's a whole thing. And I'm like, like, girl, go to the bathroom. Do you watch porn when I'm sleeping, Jacob? In bed with me. <laughs> I mean, I think I have, like, once or twice. Now, yeah. like, mostly I'm on my phone, and I'm like, I, one thing leads to another, and I'm like, I'm on Twitter, and then, like, I'm on somebody's OnlyFans. And the next thing you know, yeah. You're, yeah. The, you're the gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think getting it getting it out the way in the morning, because then, like... In the morning? Because then your whole brain, the whole day you're thinking about porn. You know what I mean? Like, you get it in the morning, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about it until the next day. I don't think I'm a porn the whole day. I just, at, the end the, at the end of the night, I'm like... Also, I think masturbating helps you sleep. It does sometimes for me. Sometimes then I'm like, oh, have you met those people who can like they masturbate like three and four times? I'm like, how do you have the jizz? How do you have the energy? How do you have the, the gumption, juice? The gall. It is crazy to me. People who can masturbate, bitch. If if I masturbate once, I'm good for a couple of days. Also, it's really irritating when you're trying to watch porn on your phone and then you try to turn it, but the orientation lock is fucked up. On. So now it's small as hell. <laughs> it's horizontal, but just in the middle of your screen. Yeah. So like, if y'all are gonna <laughs> make porn, please, if it's gonna be vertical, then make you need to format it so that it's vertical. <laughs> if I rotate my screen and then it's just the middle third of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm looking at porn like this, we got a problem. Also, also people who masturbate and like they don't like. I see people who masturbate like on their bed and shit, and like cum is everywhere. I'm like, you don't masturbate on your bed? No. Well, because only because I don't want the cleanup. So then now I have fucking jerked off. There is cum everywhere, everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I have to. No, I gotta change my shit. You be shooting? <laughs> uh, I, I shoot. No, I'm, I'm. I was being hyperbolic. I don't shoot it. I'm not. I'm, I'm not a fucking water spout. Okay. You see, I've seen them. <laughs> what? I've seen people who like really. Oh, I was like, they're video. <laughs> like, oh what do you do when one of your friends' news leaks? Oh, do you um, bleep the name? Um, on IG, you know him. If I show you a picture, you'd be like, oh him, <laughs> bitch. I I saw his porn. He has like videos on Twitter, and it was two videos. And I was like, oh my ever- god. Yes, Bonk. this is so hot. He's a he's a redhead ginger, oh, by the way. And if you want to get the unbleep, go to our picture. <laughs> it was great porn. His oh, dick know, is know, beautiful. Yes. He it was just him masturbating. But it was just really sensual and really hot. Um, I don't like. Do you like masturbate porn? Like watching people masturbate? Sometimes, it's a yeah. Boring. I'm like, this no, is I'm so into, boring. I'm into it sometimes. I don't. I don't mind Ugh. that. So what I do. I'm, I used to masturbate exclusively in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I would come in the toilet and just flush it. That's easy cleanup. That was that was my that was putting to get aim in there. That's oh, too much. I mean, for, and I would always like I, because I was coming, I would like fall to my knees. <laughs> so I couldn't like kneel down. I was like, ah, my knees were getting all fucked a, up. A spiritual experience. My, and your old ass bathroom, the fucking floors were broken. Floors, I was literally the floors all fucked up. So that's when I had to change my my method. <laughs> So now I just lay on my back and then I just like come on my stomach and uh-huh. then I just like do the walk where you kind of lean, <laughs> lean back, where you walk backwards so it's not dripping or Got you have your hand right beneath me, you just kind of wipe it up with a towel. That's so much clean up. And there have been a few times in my life, not many, I'm not going to lie, not many, where I have got some real distance. Work. I've hit, I've hit myself in the face like maybe three times. Ah, I don't want to do that. I would, that would drive me crazy. No. I was like, oh my god, no! But only like two or three times. Ugh. Well, I see those guys who 
they aim for the guys who guys who in porn they can like self sup or auto fellatio. Oh yeah, and like bust it in your own mouth. I'm like that is no. Is so the reason why, no king shaming just not for me. The reason why people uh, come shoots further because they have a narrow urethra. So if your if your cum shoots really like really shoots out, it's because your urethra is narrow. Really? Yeah, apparently. So if you have a fat urethra, then that shit don't it just kind of oozes out. Yeah, but also the shape, the, the width of your urethra doesn't necessarily dictate the, the, the width of your, yeah. of your penis. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's also I used to. You, would you have a sound? What is, no. That's the Dorod and get down your dick hole. Ah! That, that's not King Shay. No, that's not King Shay, but Just, it is. I get that. Uh, that sounds insane. I would fucking lose my mind. It sounds uh, like, it's just thinking about the it. The pain. The pain. Bitch, I have, have you seen those things where people have to, like, for certain STDs, they have to, like, take a little Q-tip, a dry-ass Q-tip in the tip of your, your, the penis head? That sounds crazy to me. I used to watch this. I, like, I used to, like, uh, come across this one that was this guy, like, sounding with a screwdriver. Ah! <laughs> and, and give me your hand. No, no, like, no, wait, hold on. I need a second. I need a beat. I need a beat. That is crazy. Okay, go ahead. So if this is the dick and this is the screwdriver, it was like this. Hold on. Open up a little bit more. It was, it was like this. With a screwdriver. <laughs> oh, God. A screwdriver. It must have been fake, right? It had to be fake, right? It had to have been. It had to be. One more thing. One more thing. And I used to hook up with this one guy who his cum was so thick. But it was like cottage cheese. Mayonnaise. Was, no, cottage cheese was coming out his dick. And you like that? I don't. I don't like. I don't hate. I don't. I don't not. I don't not like it. But it, this was grot- not grotesque. I don't, not not shaming this person's ejaculation. But it was like cottage cheese. I was like, it was literally like you put it and it would just bitch the whole day long. It would just stay right here. It, would, it was weird. Like like those noodles you made sure. <laughs> like those noodles you made sure everybody. <laughs> you remember those noodles when they made sure everybody when you turn them all upside down. That's just got me together. I was looking at this one guy. I was blowing him and like his. His slit, I don't know what you call it, dick hole. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, like, I think he was, like, sounding. Because, like, I remember, like, as I was blowing him, like, my tongue, like, slipped into his dick hole. And I was like, what is going on? No. I would not lie to you. Not you, Monet. I was like, oh, my God. Like, you, like not me holding your dick hole together. That is crazy. Can you imagine if men could give birth and our birth canal was our penis? I'd rather give birth to my anus. I know, same, but you know. When I was a kid, I used to be terrified. My uncle told me if I drink too many sodas, I'll get a kidney stone. Um, he always said, if you drink too many sodas, you get kidney stones. Kidney, that shit hurts. He, he like, kidney stones come from soda. It comes from drinking soda. So, Kyle, so for right? years, I did not drink sodas. You bitch, I wish you could. Could, could your uncle tell me that? I wish I still <laughs> believed it. And, I, and, I, and I, I heard as a kid, the only way to pass, I don't even know if this is true, the only way to pass a kidney stone is to pee it out. Yeah. You pee it out because it comes out. It comes out of your, your but and that's why they hurt so much because they're these like little calcium rocks that are like going through your fucking. <laughs> Anytime you take your glasses off, you are such an uh an, an, an all black uncle. <laughs> it's very bad. I cannot deal with the idea of like sticking things in the hole of my yeah. dick. Have you seen two girls one cup? Of course I have. Wild. So you know it was real poop. Of course, yeah, people are into scat. Scatting is a real thing. But I'm like. Did they pump her up with a lot of like what she drink just drinking soups and it's stuff to get it, it, it's diarrhea? Like, it, it didn't look it didn't look like poop and it didn't look like diarrhea. It looked like soft. I'm sorry, guys. We need we need a trigger warning. Poop. It because it doesn't look like diarrhea. Like whenever I'm sick, it's like liquid. I'm pissing out of my butt. And otherwise, it's like, it had that though. But it was more. It was it was like. A, it was like a spout. <laughs> it was the spout of water, no, it and then not. it was the soft serve. When they, you're gonna make us have to look it up again. I'm telling you, that's not what it was. It came out like one solid. <laughs> oh, I'm not king shaming. It's just, it was a. I mean, it was a viral moment. The two girls, one cup. Everyone saw it. Was you remember everywhere. the guy with the glass? Oh, bitch! Me and one guy, one jar. My head let. Oh! I had dinner with Big Dipper then and I were talking about it. So if y'all no! know, one guy, one jar was a guy. Stop. This is crazy. He was into putting bottles or jar. It was, I think, but this was a, was a mason jar. He put like a, he put a mason jar in his hole and he clenched down and then it shattered and broke in his ah! It is gory to watch. If y'all are brave, look it up and watch it. It is insane. <laughs> we gotta go. It was insane. Oh. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs> you can't end the pockets like that. I can't do this. This is too much. Can I? Can I? Can I put a, a mason jar in your pee hole? <laughs>
and take a, and take a screwdriver and break it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god! We gotta put a trick on this episode. This is wild. This is wild. All right. Well, that was one about porn. That was one about porn. All right, we gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Y'all.